Well, listen, I think, first of all, it's one of the most exciting regions to be in uh, at a time in which there's so much transformation going on. And you have to sort of look at the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, give him a lot of credit for being very bold in his sort of vision uh, to, to take the kingdom uh, to the next step in terms of an evolution. And obviously, it means economic diversification. It means continuing to deepen strategic partnerships, both on the commercial side as well as the political side. Uh, so, you know, I, I think um, there's some very bold things going on in this region and certainly Saudi Arabia uh, is uh, is a big part of that. Now you're advising on the Saudi Aramco IPO story but there is a lot as you say happening in the kingdom particularly with the privatization they're privatizing ports and airports and the like what other opportunities do you see in that space? Well listen I, I think that what, what you're going to see is a lot of interest in terms of foreign investors to come be a part of um, the economic growth that will flow from this transformational vision and as we know it's not just in the commerce arena it has to do with social transformation as well so there's a lot of opening up going on in the region as a whole Saudi Arabia with being the largest economy and market here it provides a lot of attractive destination for capital how worried are you about that ongoing relationship between Saudi Arabia and the United States? We've seen a lot of change since President Trump came to office. We saw a very successful trip from the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman when he went to Washington, to Silicon Valley, to New York to meet with big business. Do you think that that relationship has shifted? Well, listen, I think it's shifted for the better since uh, the election and inauguration of Donald Trump. I mean, we, we in the United States saw um, the relationships between our country and those here in the Middle East take a very different direction, one that I wasn't necessarily comfortable with under President Obama. Uh, obviously, the announcement of decertification of the Iran agreement was a big deal. Um, and it was an agreement that I never supported because um, I don't think that the countries here in the GCC supported it, supported it either. So I think there's been a strengthening of the relationship on a geopolitical uh, standpoint um, over the last year with uh, the Trump administration. And I'm looking for yet even more positive things to come and flow from that on the economic front. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.